Good morning ladies and gentlemen. I believe I gotta go out the other way. I remember that. <laughs> this is only the entrance over here so I gotta go the other way. Uh, oh well, that's okay. I can go the other way. Alright. I gotta go that way anyways to uh, go to my delivery. I just called them up and asked them for directions because uh, my GPS is not able to find the host number but we are, we are able to find that uh, road but it just for some odd reason it just doesn't seem right you know when I look on Google it uh, tells me down the other road but that one actually says it's, it's actually road not drive mine says the address is supposed to be under drive so I don't know but here we go, let's go, uh, nobody coming, so let's go make our delivery, hopefully that won't take us long to uh, deliver, because I just talked to the guy and I told him I'll be there in a couple of minutes, and so uh, we'll go down there, he told me how to get there, he said there's a freight liner there, and then right after the freight liner there or something like that, that's where the... Uh, place is going to be so, uh, so yeah let's go see if we can find our place we will be going to Tennessee after this we'll go pick up our reload and then we'll make our way 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 back home 1600 miles to go home from here so when, uh, by the time I go to pick up my load and stuff like that or maybe even a little over 1600 because uh, I gotta go into Tennessee that way. I just typed it into uh, Google Map yesterday on my phone, like when I was stopped there. And, Cause I had stopped already when I finally got my reload offer, you know? So I uh, figured, well, I uh, typed it in and I didn't actually type in the whole address where I needed to go. So uh, I just typed it in, uh, take me home. And it was 1600 miles, so. That wasn't bad. Well, that's going to be a good trip. Good all around trip, although I had some sitting time, but still going to be a good all the way around trip. So we are getting close up to it, so I guess I'll uh, better get in the left lane here and then uh, we'll, we'll see all of you guys a little bit later because I got to find my. Uh, my place here where I got to deliver my load so alrighty guys we have delivered our load we were able to find it no problem <clears throat> and here we are back on the interstate we are now on I-26 at a northbound from Tennessee we just entered North Carolina Look at that, it's a beautiful day again today. Nice and sunny. Got some big ass hills up there. Well, maybe not big ass, but you know, big hills. Fairly big hills. It's big for these people up here for sure. I know for us going up to British Columbia, it's nothing, but. Oh well. We gotta get through it. At least we got nice dry roads so we don't have to worry about uh, having icy roads or anything like that. Yeah, look at that. That's gorgeous, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, we got about 87 miles to go yet. Now we'll be at our pickup place. We've been going for a little bit already. 
it was pretty easy delivering our load there it didn't take very long at all I don't know maybe 20 minutes he was done unloading me that was pretty quick got her in there backed her in it was a little tight but other than that as soon as we got it in started unloading it was just an outside dock so it wasn't an interior building type of dock so it was just outside uh, just a cement floor that's it you put it right out there outside we're good to go we unloaded the stuff and I was out of there and here we go let's climb this hill and see how fast we can get our uh, reload picked up you know hopefully they'll be as quick as uh, our delivery place too right and then we can start making our way home and I can be home for Wednesday night, be home Thursday, hopefully get me a nice trip to go out on Friday. That would be awesome. But anyways, yeah, let's continue cruising along here and uh, thank you for joining me today. I know I say that a lot but uh, I really mean that and uh, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Let's get on down the road and see what happens today. Alrighty guys, we have come up to a situation where we, it uh, looks like we had an accident up here. But what I really wanted to show you was this four-wheeler right ahead of me here. I mean, look at this four-wheeler right here. Now that is a very bad idea. He didn't even clean his back windshield. Like how are you gonna look out of your back window to see if somebody is behind you or something, you know? That is terrible, man. I don't know why people do this shit, you know. But that's the way it is. Apparently there is a pickup uh, truck there that uh, lost it or whatever. And they got the left lane closed up here. You can see all the flashing lights and all that. So, uh, yeah, well, we'll see what happens, I guess. But... Uh, I just figured I would point this out to you guys. Clean your window. Clean your snow off of your car. I mean, that can't be good. I mean, basically all he did really is clean his side windows and his front window and that's it. Didn't clear nothing on the top. He didn't clear his back window. Luckily he cleared his lights, but other than that, just... Snow after snow. Construction People ahead. get so lazy these days, you know. They don't want to do nothing. But that's my opinion. Somebody else is going to have a disagreement with that. That's my opinion, I guess. Got two cops cars uh, ahead of me there too. They're playing, playing cars there. You can't really see that they're cops, but two cars uh, ahead of me there you know like uh, there's this one and there's the other one and then two cars ahead of that there those are both cop cars you know well, it looks like right here in the uh, construction zone too eh that's what it looks like it almost looks like they cleared it up already I don't see no pickup anymore they must have cleared it up yeah well told you it must have gotten here pretty fast from what it looks like now here you can see the skid marks where you been you see some fresh snow right here it must have tipped her over or something yeah here we go now we got open roads again so let's see if we can still get to our delivery place on time I told him I'd be there by 12 o'clock, so hopefully that will still work. I have just entered Tennessee and just uh, right at the borderline there. They have a uh, brake shack up there even. I didn't think they had brake shacks up in this area, but apparently they do. So here we are just going downhill from this big hill that we just went up and uh, we are now officially in Tennessee. Yeah, I just got my four-way flashers going because I'm going a little bit slower. I think it said it was like a 6% downgrade. So, uh, yeah, we're only 20 miles away from our uh, pickup place, so that's not that bad. We 
should be there about quarter to 12. So that's going to be right on time. Unless, uh, unless uh, they have lunch time or whatever. But I called them up earlier and, and uh, told them that I was going to be there between 11.30 and 12 o'clock. So that'll be right when I told them I was going to be there. Unless there's going to be more accidents from here to there, right? Yeah, well. I guess we can't control that, but anyways, let's go downhill here and go to our pickup place. All right, guys, we have gotten our load on. That was very fast again. Only about half an hour and we were done loading. Now that is amazing. Things are finally looking up to me. They're finally going in the right direction and here we are just going down this back road after we got our load on we just got our load on so we got to go up here about a quarter mile down the road and we'll be back on the interstate and we can put the hammer down going home that's right it's not a bad load at all we got some uh, some good stuff on here I just about said what we have but I can't say and then uh, it's not bad weight either, you know, only 37,000 pounds. That's and pretty good. Feet, turn left on TN 173. So yeah, we got to go make this left hand turn up here. Yep. So otherwise we can't get to the interstate, I suppose. And then we'll be in the interstate. Yeah, that's right. Then we can start making our miles home. We got 1518 miles from right here to home. So that's a good uh, two and a half day drive. Entrance to the right on US 19 W North US 23 North I 26 West. All right. In so we'll, uh, take the entrance to the right on US Are you going to let me talk? North I 26 West. All right. Are you done yet? Anyways. We'll try and get as far as we can possibly do today. Yeah, so that way we can get easier home. I'm planning on being home Wednesday night. And then going out on Thursday. No, not Thursday. Staying home Thursday. And I'm going out, going out Friday. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, some beautiful areas up here that is for sure it's a gorgeous day I'm loving it today has been one of those days where I could say I love being a truck driver everything is just going my way today it's like uh, my unloading was super fast my reloading was pretty fast. So, I mean, what more do you want to ask for, you know? I mean, you can't ask for anything else like that, you know? When it just clicks, you know, when it goes your way, that's when it really is enjoyable to be driving truck. It's those days when you have to uh, sit at home or wait for a load like I did there in Toronto, that's when it's not fun. Or like I did last week in Pennsylvania. That is not fun, you know? Like you get unloaded, but you can't get reloaded, right? Well, now we got it working in our favor. That's what I like. It's really enjoyable then. I can get good miles out of this trip. Like I said, 1,500 miles to go back home. We already have all these uh, miles behind us already from going to the states going to toronto going back down here it was a quick turn here now so hopefully we get us a good load there on friday because usually you do get good loads on friday and if we do then uh that'll be a good month if, uh, if that actually happens there's a possibility that i can get very close to 12,000 miles in this month which was a struggle, probably, but we'll see how it goes at the end of the month. But it 
it's just all around a good day for me. That's that's right. So I hope it's a good day for you guys as well. So let's put the hammer down and let's see how far we can go. I am still cruising along the highway up here. And we are just about to enter into Kentucky. Yeah, it seems to be going downhill there right now. Yeah, we're just cruising, just giving her. I had me a little bit of a pit stop there earlier. We stopped in there in one of the pilot truck stop up there and uh, still in Tennessee. They're just before Knoxville there. And we uh, went and had ourselves a bite to eat. And now we are good to go. We are set. We're not hungry anymore. We're just fantastic. Yes, cruising along. I want to at least get another 150 miles in today. Because uh, that will bring me down to 1,200 miles left for tomorrow and the day after. Well, 600 miles each day, right? So that should bring me home. That's right. Yeah, we had to climb quite a few hills up there earlier, so this is nice to go downhill for a change. Well, we have been going down there for a couple of minutes now, so that's good. Now we're going to be at the bottom of the hills here. But it's just nice today. Everything has worked out so nice. I'm just so happy today. And I'm even more happy than anything because now, because everything worked out good, I can be on Wednesday, you know. So that's fantastic news to me. Let's see what else will happen here today yet, but uh, yeah, I think pretty soon we'll be out of these big hills. Uh, well, big, big. They're not that big, but uh, you know. Looks nice though, like when you're driving down here. It's still beautiful to be driving in this area, but pretty soon we'll be more into flatter area. Well, I guess Kentucky has got a little bit, but not bad, you know. Here comes the sign saying, Welcome to Kentucky. You'll see it right here, this big blue sign that you see in the camera. Welcome to Kentucky. Border, a drink Kentucky. There you go. That's good. That means we have left Tennessee behind us. Yeah. Now we are in a different state. Almost every state has got a rest area. Very close to the state line. Not every uh, every uh, state, but a lot of states like where there is an interstate. They'll have like a welcome center or like a rest area right past the uh, state line. So that's usually nice to know. And uh, I had, uh, I think Ike Reddy asked me the other day for what football team I am for. And I don't know if I talked about this before or not, but uh, I'm not really a football fan or a hockey fan or anything like that. I, I don't really know much about it. Uh, I know a little bit more about boxing. I watch a little bit UFC. Or soccer. I watch soccer. I enjoy watching soccer, but uh, not much of a football uh, football guy. I don't really get the end of the game or I don't really understand the game. I'm not into it, so. Can't really answer a question what team I'm for because uh, I don't follow those teams, so. But anyways, I just figured I would answer those questions and uh, let you guys know a little bit about me. Alrighty guys, look at this. Some kind of small truck here or whatever got himself into trouble or whatever. They got the right two lanes blocked and they're backing downhill right now with the tow truck here. Trying to get that truck out. Oh, it looked like he was uh, he was in the ditch there, it looked like. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that's still from all the snowstorm that they had up here, but yeah, they definitely dug him out now, so that's good. But anyways, just had to show you that little clip here. And it's been a very active day today. We have had a few accidents already, so yeah, that's where he must have gone down, eh? Wow. <laughs> 
he must have hit that uh, that pile of snow there on the shoulder there or something because uh, that's that's the only way I can see him go in there unless he was texting or something like that and hit the shoulder but because they haven't really cleaned up the snow too much up here like they uh, the snow is still up there to the white line up there on the third lane some places even over the white lane so if you hit that wet snow that's going to pull you right into the ditch right eh? but anyways we're back on cruising conditions and we are on the phone with Mr. Trucker Jukebox. So we'll get back on the phone with him and we'll be right back. All right, all right, guys and gals. As you guys have seen on my today's video clips, it has been a fantastic day. I love it. I love it. I want more of it. More days like this would be very welcome. That's right. Everything just clicked so awesomely today. It's just been an amazing day today. Yeah, you know, it's been a few slowdowns here and there throughout the day with the uh, accidents there on the road. But other than that, there hasn't been any slowdowns for me. Uh, as I said earlier, it just clicked perfectly on uh, getting unloaded, reloaded. We made it far enough tonight. Okay, let me just mute that. There we go. So uh, we made it far enough to where uh, I can make it to Black River Falls, Wisconsin tonight. Uh, tonight, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I can make it there. And then uh, from there, I can easily make it home uh, if nothing goes wrong, obviously. Uh, from there, I can easily normally make it home. So we shall be home Wednesday night. That's the plan anyways. So uh, with that being said, we gotta get to bed here right away because uh, tomorrow is gonna be a long day. I think tomorrow is gonna be a good day and the day after that too. Because it's gonna be, well, it's pretty much exactly 1200 miles from where I'm at right now to home. So I gotta do 600 miles tomorrow and 600 miles the day after. So uh, gonna be two big days. So uh, stay tuned for that, and uh, you shall see some awesome clips, which you should have seen today and yesterday too, but uh, hey, somebody might not like those clips, so maybe we'll have some different today or tomorrow. You never know, right? But anyways, that's all I got for today. So we'll catch you again tomorrow on this channel. If you liked anything in particular about this channel, leave it right down there in the comment section. We would love to hear from you because we value all of you guys and we like to uh, build a community out here where we can uh, talk to each other where we can leave comments down there and uh, I will try to answer them I might not get around to answering every single question but uh, I can never make that promise but uh, I will certainly try and do my best to answer all of your questions or if you just have a regular comment that don't matter it doesn't have to be a question just leave a comment on there below, below and uh, let me know that you are watching today's video or you know tell me about you guys if you guys want to tell me about you or where you're from or what you do uh, what you like about my videos all those things you know they are very welcome I, I enjoy reading some of some of those comments that uh, that you guys leave like if you tell me something about you or or what area you're from or if you like to meet up with me and that kind of stuff you know uh, uh, that's you know very enjoyable to read you know and that's the kind of community I want to try and build is uh, uh, so I can uh, you know interact with you guys you know uh, be a, a community where we can talk to each other and uh, have fun you know but anyways, enough of that. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.